My family kept saying, they call me John the Preacher. And I said, I'm not nobody's preacher, I'm a drummer and a songwriter. But I was sitting here thinking clear, I got things on my mind. Spontaneous said, it's a shame. They said, you're gonna be somebody's preacher. And now I do it through music to encourage people. How could another man send another man to die knowing in his heart it's a game? I'll be 67, May the 22nd. I've been in this city all my life. This is still the greatest city I know. Some of the things I've experienced and felt here I've never felt in my life. When I was a kid, we would become, my mother had 12 kids and raised them by herself. She's a soldier, she's gone. I miss her so much, I never thought I would miss her. As much as I do, she, she did the best she can with 12 kids. That takes a tough woman to do that. And for my experience as a little guy at the Uptown Theater, I remember we used to go to shows there. It only cost 50 to 75 cents to get in. I've seen Gladys Knight. I've seen The Temptations. I've seen the uh, Smokey Robinson and Miracles, The Intruders, The Delphonics. Oh my God, I've seen so many groups and it inspired me to want to write. But it would be a sight, a beautiful sight to see if they call the war, but no one came. I want to know, can you picture in your mind a war where no one came? It was thought out as a thought, and then out of the thought comes the words. And the Creator will bestow in my heart exactly what to say and how to put it in a poetry form. In my heart and mind, I have a dream that someday man will change. We don't know what we're doing, but believe me, the pie in the sky, the boss, that's the real boss. He's, uh, he's making way for us. Even bad as things are, people still have hope. I'm glad I'm one of the people that he gave that type of spirit and energy to, to want to do something, make somebody smile or and one thing I believe wholeheartedly, these are some of the toughest times I've ever had in my life. But God has put it in my heart to say that, child, you're gonna be all right. Just don't give up, you're gonna be all right. Well, couldn't we solve a problem and work them all out while setting this world up in flames? It's called the war when no one came. I know you guys are familiar with John Bon Jovi. Oh yeah, halfway there living on a prayer. I've been trying to get it into his hands. If someone could put me with some producer, there's guys that work here that know Gamble and Huff. They said, John, you need to go down the street. They're going to snatch you off the street. That's what I want to get to Bon Jovi. I used to want to be rich, man. I wanted this, I wanted this, I wanted this, I want that. You know what I want to do, man? Give some back to the world. Because we're in bad, we're in bad shape. We need to learn to love each other more. We really do. Life is rough for me now, but You've seen me break down a couple of times when I want to cry. In the midst of all this, man, I still can find joy and happiness and believe in people. I mean, nothing about them in my heart.